hi guys i am back with another video jaguar right at it again she exposing mary j blige jill scott jennifer hudson and even beyonce's dad matthew knows let's get into it So y'all know I did another video on Jaguar Wright and y'all were talking about how y'all wanted to hear some more about what she had to say. So in this video, she's talking about Mary J. Blige and how Mary, Mary J. Blige act and how Mary J. Blige need to come out the closet. Then she's talking about the movie with Jennifer Hudson and Beyonce. I can't think of the name of it. She's talking about them and how Jennifer Hudson got the part that she was really supposed to get or her in between her and somebody else. And how um, Beyonce's dad, you know, didn't want her to do the part because she would have outshined Beyonce. But they let Jennifer Hudson do it because she didn't win American Idol. But still, she outshined Beyonce, even though, you know, he didn't want it to happen. So basically, she's just talking about how the industry does people, how the industry doesn't want people that can really sing to be, you know, seen or put out in the light and how they use people and stuff like that and they use people that that can't do nothing for themselves or it's not always real good artists they use them and throw them away you know just to make a little money off them like making a band and all that stuff you know how he did them he did the little show and then kind of threw them to the side you know he working with a few of them but most of them he threw to the side diddy and stuff like that so he she's talking about a lot of different people in here talking about jill scott and a few other people but i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna do a separate video where she's talking about p diddy and it is crazy y'all are really gonna want to see that one hopefully i'll have it up in the next day or so whatever but y'all stay tuned for that one but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and let you watch this video and you comment for yourself how you feel about this whole thing we say we support but we don't support people want to know oh mary why are you going after mary why ain't nobody asking mary why she went after me I was a Mary J. Blige fan, just like all of you. I was in a lot of the studios where a lot of her records were written and recorded. <laughs> Shoot, some of Mary's stuff I heard before she did. Me and Mary J. Blige have the same producer that we work with, Chucky Thompson. Well, she don't work with Chucky no more because I guess Puff told her that she couldn't. You know, Chucky Thompson gave her the best music she ever had and she stopped using him. Even though it's his work that made her famous. See, don't nobody ask those questions. Don't nobody ask why Easy Mo B didn't do more tracks for Mary. Because Puff was in control. P. Diddy, Honeycomb, was in control. Mary J. Blige has turned her back on almost everybody that's ever cared about her, ever loved her. Her and her sister, Latanya, Latoya, whatever the fucking bitch name. They're awful people. Y'all just don't know it. Because see, you believe what their publicist tells you. Why are y'all mad at me? Because you'd rather believe their lies than believe the actual truth. She's a whole gay woman. She's been gay ever since her and KC ended it. And everybody knows it. So why is she still in the closet? LGBT, why is she still in the closet? In this day and age, if you are living on the down low, you just want to be a liar. That's why I came out. I didn't have to come out. And truth is, anybody who really knows me or really paid attention to me should have known I was a bisexual woman. If you didn't know, it's because you didn't want to know. So I came out. I actually had to call a few of my out and proud friends and apologize to them for not owning who I was even with them see I had an image to uphold what image this is my image this is me I'm a person just like y'all I am real just like y'all matter of fact I'm probably realer than most sweeter than most but how would you know 
I guess people don't watch all of the interview when they watch interviews. Yeah, J Diddy is a shepherd for the devil. I'm sorry, I was talking to YouTube. I got a... Um, everybody told me he was a shepherd for the devil. And I've seen it for myself. Y'all want to know how divisive Sean Combs, Honey Combs is? Go talk to Father MC. And ask him how he feels about the, the love of his life being, being stomped to death. And all Puff wanted to do was keep it quiet so nobody knew that he was responsible because he didn't have the appropriate motherfucking goddamn permits to do half of the shows he was doing at Howard. Just to get by. Just to get by. And he got by. He got, he got all the way to the top. He got by everybody. And what most people don't know is he used Mary J. Blige to compromise a lot of people. Y'all seen all the documentaries? Oh, Mary went out. And Mary Mary got all of the rappers. All of the rappers who were taken advantage of. All of the rappers who got very unfair contracts. She, she sent them to him. She's no different than a procure for a pedophile. If you'll go out and get a bunch of talented artists and know that you're bringing them to a situation that is not going to be advantageous for them, not only... Are you um, a betrayer of art? But you're a betrayer of humanity. But then again, she do anything just to get by. Mary J. Blige don't write them songs. Somebody else is getting that check. Mary J. Blige don't produce no records. Somebody else is getting that check. That means Mary only got a few ways to make money. We know she ain't no real singer. So she needs the production to support her, to make her look good. So all she is, is a celebrity. That's all she is. She's not talented, genuinely. She has some kind of, she has a thing. You know what I mean? Like there's that real thing when she's actually being real. Like I'm not going to lie, I wish she was still getting high. Because she was honest when she was high. But the second she started trying to convince everybody how happy she was, then she went off into that farce marriage with Ken Do. I'm not going to talk about Ken Do. There's enough people to talk about Ken Do. But I'm going to tell you something. That nigga can do. He can do some things. Because he's managing to get $30,000 a month out of this old bitch. And don't nobody even know why. Even Wendy Williams didn't understand it. When she was talking, how did this man cheat? And how did it? Because that man didn't cheat. He didn't cheat. He was sleeping with his wife's girlfriend, yo. And I know exactly what that's like because I did that in my first marriage too. I had a girlfriend that I had to share with my ex-husband. And you do it. So they won't run and tell everybody that you gay. So now, because you won't tell the truth, you're being held hostage by a lie for someone that you know does not have your best interest at heart. And what, does that ha what happens after that? You become bitter. And Mary took it out on every female artist that was better than her. Now yeah, did I kill Unplugged? Of course I killed Unplugged. That's what I do. I kill shows. That's why no one ever wanted to open up for me. Ask India Irie what it was like when I opened up for her, for Coca-Cola all of those years ago. The room cleared out. Ain't nobody even stayed to see India. And it wasn't that India wasn't talent. I'm the fucking show, yo. Don't nobody want to go on after me, and I don't blame them. Because I give everything. I don't give a little bit. I don't give some. I don't make it pretty. I give y'all everything. It hasn't changed in 30 years. So clearly this is who I am. I'm a person that gives everything. That's why people call me. And when they were running around, Mary J. Blige calling Jay Boberg, talking about don't, um, don't promote that bitch's album. If I find out y'all promote that bitch's album, I'm quitting her and Hank Shockley. And guess what? They didn't promote my album. And I still sold records. <laughs> no, 
I haven't had a bunch of solo albums out. But I have been on a major release album every year for the past 20 years. Check my catalog. Maybe I should have kept some of them songs to sing for myself, Jill. Maybe I should have kept some of them songs to sing for myself, Mary. I've been ghostwriting for years. Niggas been jacking me all day long. I got jacked at Keith Sweat's uh, studio when I was 15 years old in Atlanta. I ain't gonna tell you how many of my records I heard on the radio. And I ain't gonna tell you who sung them. But see, niggas owes me favors, so that works out for me. People want to know why I don't pay for studio time. Because I give away more songs than I record. Why do you give away more songs than you record, Jag? Because now they owe me a favor. And now if I have a late night session, out of nowhere, I ain't got to book no studio time. All I got to do is call the engineer. Want to know why? Because he done made money off of me. That's what I do. I make people money. And then in turn, people do me favors. See, this is how this game works. When Mary J. Blige and KC were together, it was a disaster. And I'm not saying nothing bad about KC. Everybody knows he was whooping her ass. They would get high on crack. They would drink all day and all night. They would fuck. They would fight. And then they would go into the studio and make fire ass records. Like Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston. Like a lot of couples in the industry. They get high together. They get drunk together. They fight together. And then they go and they create some awesome music. I don't know, maybe um, maybe Casey punched in her head too many times. Or maybe she just got uh, gang raped too many times while she was drunk and high and didn't know what the fuck was happening to her. I don't know what's wrong with Mary J. Blige. What I do know is that she is a victim, but she became a victimizer. There was no need for her to hate on me. There was no need for her to hate on Faith. There was no need for her to hate on a lot of the female artists that she hated on, except for Beyonce. And I'm assuming because somebody was paying her to pump Beyonce up so Beyonce could blow up. Because the truth is, um, that first Beyonce solo record was a mess. It was. That jam on your horn shit from um, the uh, Austin Powers movie, that shit was a mess. It was whack as fuck. Too many horns. It wasn't properly arranged. She was yelling and screaming, trying to sound like Tina Turner, but sounding like a frustrated uh, uh, man with a high-pitched voice. It was a mess, and y'all know it. That's why they brought Rich Harrison in to do Crazy Right Now. And then that's when Jay-Z entered it. And ever since she's been with Jay-Z, she's been doing great. Sean Carter is amazing at knowing how to put talent together. When he put Kanye and Beyonce together, it was the smartest thing that ever happened for her career. And in my opinion, Kanye is the best producer he even had, she ever had. Nobody knows her voice like Kanye knows her voice. Why they're still not making music together, I don't know. I can't speak on that. What I can speak on is that the Migos will never be able to provide the same quality or level of production as Kanye. You know, Scott Storch got her through the door on that first album. And my boy, EST, Robert, Robert Waller, they wrote them records. He wrote the shit out of Baby Boy. He wrote the shit out of Baby Boy and me, myself, and I. You know, and as it evolved and it went away from the Missy Elliott sound and the Scott Storch sound, it went to Kanye. And Kanye did a fabulous job. Let's just keep it a beam. Love on top. When she did the Frankie Beverly and Maze remake that I recorded before she recorded, but hers came out before mine. I mean, it's cool. But the truth is, that record would have been hot for real if Kanye produced it. Nobody knows her voice like Kanye, period. You know, and Mary J. Blige has been a cheerleader for Beyonce her whole career. But she hates every other chick in the game. Because somebody paid her to. 
Mary J. Blige should hate Beyonce more than anyone. More than anyone. Because Beyonce is everything that Mary J. Blige will never be. So why is she always sucking on Beyonce titty, but she treat every other female like shit? Because somebody is paying her to, because that bitch got to work. She is a monkey on a stage, and then they do the, they crank, they, they, they crank it up, and the organ grinder get to going, and Mary get to going. She got to. Fuck else she going to do? Go back to Yonka's projects? What else is she capable of doing? What else is she qualified to do? She ain't get a, a, a GED till she was 36 years old. They had her out there making all that money all them years and even, didn't even bother to make sure she was educated. They did the same shit to Fantasia. What problem do I have with Mary J. Blige? She's a betrayer of women. She's on the down low. She's petty as fuck. And Puff is still running her. And if Puff gave a fuck about her, he would have just cut Kendu Isaac a check. If he had to cut Kendu a check for 15 million, you don't think Kendu would have took that? He said, look, Mary, don't worry about it. Pay me back when you get some time. But you know what? This has been rough for you. Take a year off. Take two years off. Spend some time with your family. If you're still involved with your stepchildren, take some time with them. This divorce was hard on you. Look, I'm going to take care of Kendu. And, and you just be a woman for a while. Just live for a while. But that's not what they did. Kendu got that 30000 a month. And they said, come on, Mary, we, we got an award show for you. And we got a TV show for you. And you're going to be a star on Netflix. And guess what? She ain't even collecting all that bread. I'm curious to know what she's getting paid to be on power. And how much of it she actually gets to keep. Mary J. Blige is bought and paid for. Y'all don't know who she is. She's one of the most pathetic. She's more pathetic than, than Moni Love. And Moni Love is pathetic. And Mary and her sister are more pathetic than that. Y'all been in the business 30 years and you're still on a leash. You're on leashes. You're dogs. That's why I call all of y'all bitches. Because you're dogs. You on leashes. With, 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 with a, a platinum collar with diamond studs. Yet, the shit is around your fucking neck, yo. If you had any real fucking um, huspa, Mary J. Blige, you'd just become a, a, um, um, a porn star. That, that, look, look at what it did for Mimi Faust. At least you would have been able to keep all the money, all that fucking you done, and you really want to be with women instead. Why don't you make your pussy work for you? Why are you still on a leash, Mary? Why puff? Letting you crank that organ grinder and then dance to the beat. Somebody asked me why I, I, I want to tear down black women. Well, why would I want to let a bitch who does nothing but tear black women down stand? Just because they do this shit in the background doesn't mean it's not happening. Everybody's just mad at me because they never thought that I would have the courage to admit all of my faults in front of the entire world. But guess what? If I got to drag myself down to drag y'all down with me, then I will. But I promise you this whole system is going to burn. Before I'm done, the music industry is going to come to its knees. It is going to say mea culpa. And it is going to give music back to the artist. This Puff Daddy campaign to keep talent on the sideline. While lack of talent is pushed to the forefront. Because they know that they can't survive without them. Hmm. Puff Bodyguard had a lot to say. He got quiet real fast. It, it, either they paid him or they was going to kill him. I don't know. That nigga got quiet. Why y'all think Kanye posting stuff on his page talking about North? If, I'm, if I die, I was a good man and I loved you. Y'all need to go back and look at, look at Sam Cooke. 
I posted him the other morning for a reason. I started the day off with that for a reason. Before Sam Cook passed away, he was trying to do something very bold and very brave. He was trying to start an all-black record label. And he was going to bring in James Brown, and he was going to bring in everybody. And they sent Sammy Davis Jr. to go warn him and say, hey, yeah, you fucking with their money. Next thing you know, he in a hotel with a hooker, who everybody knew was a hooker. And he's dead. That's how easy it was to get a man that powerful and that influential out of the way. All they had to do was put a bitch and some alcohol in the room and a gun. That's it. That's how easy it is to move niggas around. This is what they do. They sit around all day with their, with their press agents and they create false realities for y'all to believe. And then they take artists like me who know the truth, who have the truth in their heart, and they brand them as crazy, they brand them as this, they brand them as that, so y'all won't listen to the truth. I'm tired of people lying. So guess what? The only way to tear down a false system is to tear down its entire institution. I told y'all I'm an anarchist at heart. I will always believe in utopia. And I will always believe that every man is a king and every woman is a queen. And if you are not being treated that way or living that way, it's a personal choice. African Americans built this country. Alongside of uh, the natives and alongside of of the Chinamen that they brought over here to work the railroad. That's what they're saying. A Chinaman's chance. Because they'd have them out there with no no equipment, no nothing, and if they fall off and die, just go get another Chinaman. That's America. That's our history as Americans. How to fuck over friends and ruin relationships. Maybe it's a book in a library that people are reading. I don't know. I ain't never read it. But they, they all working on the same script. So. For every artist out there that ever fucked over another artist. Or fucked over me. Or fucked over the industry. Or fucked over the game. You better pray I ain't got tapes on you. Because I'm going to tell everybody about it. The lies end here. Now. The truth will set us all free here and now if you really believe in the truth you should have no problem with believing me because I am the truth all day and every day always been that way ask about me it's not my fault you chose to be a horrible person it's not my fault you chose to be a douchebag it's not my fault you chose to be Jeffrey Epstein's girlfriend. These things are not my fault. I didn't make these choices for you. You made them for yourself. See, that's why I always had a drink in my hand. Because I it, there wasn't always a drink in the glass. Sometimes it was just watered down Coca-Cola. When I was drinking Jack and Coke. Sometimes it was just seltzer water with lime in it. I wasn't drunk all those times, y'all. <laughs> I was collecting information on you. Because I knew a day like today was going to come and I wanted to make sure I had all of my facts straight. Mary J. Blige, stop lying. Stop lying to the world, but more importantly, stop lying to yourself. Now, you, you were given a platform that you have allowed men to run. Because you're too lazy to do the work yourself. Yonkers. Yonkers PJs. Just a little too lazy. To do it yourself. So you let them do it for you. And they make all kinds of choices for your career. Much as I love Richard Nichols. And as brilliant a manager. And mentor as he was. 
he and I did not have the same beliefs. We did not have the same faith. And I knew that one day he was going to ask me to do something that I just couldn't do. So I left. While there was love. While there was respect. Mary J. Blige, if you want to sit there and prove to the world that you're half worth a damn, then stand up for yourself for once. Stop letting these niggas run you. Stop being the monkey with the organ grinder doing the dance. I'm fine, fine, fine. I hope you are fine with all that bullshit you've been eating for all these years. Because I'm going to tell you what I know about shit. You can pour syrup on it all day long. It won't make it pancakes, boo. It's still just going to be shit covered in syrup. And that's your life, Mary J. Blige. That's your whole life. Shit covered in syrup. And Jemima, no less. And Jemima with the, with the maid do-rag on. They've been pouring that shit all over you. All over you. And you ain't never been no pancake. Shit, bitch, you ain't even a flapjack. You're a no-talent hack that allowed yourself to be played like a fool by a bunch of niggas that clearly don't give a fuck about you because you paying can do. Why you always getting played by niggas, Mary? Maybe you should have just came out the closet and been with that woman. And then maybe you and her could have been on some um Tessa Thompson, Janelle Monet. They getting it, yo. Janelle Monet and Tessa Thompson is getting it, yo. And they're happy. Picture that. Oh yeah, they're not lying about their lives. I was in love with a woman. I lost her to AIDS. She was screwing the wrong photographer. Trying to make it onto that runway. That was it for me. I was I I there's no way I would be able to ever feel about another woman the way I felt about her. Because she loved me, see. You should try love, Mary. Try love. If there's a woman that loves you, love her back. Y'all can even get married now. But if you want to download, it's because you like to be a liar. That's it. But see, it's easy to lie about your relationships when you've been lying about everything else. They want to talk about verses and catalog. What about all my unreleased catalog? Hundreds and hundreds of records that I've been waiting for the right moment to give to y'all. Because I can write my own songs. I can produce my own songs. I can sit down with a competent mix engineer and walk all the way through a mix. I can do those things, Mary, can you? What can you do, Mary? Other than play dress up and eat snatch in dark places hoping nobody finds out you're gay. And if I'm lying, sue me, Mary. And if you got the heart, let's do the verses. Or if you want to apologize to me for the way you tried to destroy my career at its very beginning, you can do that too. Fuck you and fuck Hank Shockley and fuck your sister, bitch. And it'll be fuck you until you apologize to me. Because you're mad that I had talent and you didn't. Oh well. Be mad at God. He gave me what I got and he gave you what you got. Be mad at God. I don't know how that'll work for you. Because God puts everything on us for reasons, you see. Oh, we're talking about Mary J. Blige. 
Yes, Mary J. Blige. That's what I'm talking about. She liked to talk about me behind my back. Bitch, I'm going to talk about you to your face. How about that? If I'm lying about anything I said about you, you closeted freak. Sue me. I mean, isn't that your girlfriend that can do it? And they living off of your money? How don't that piss you off, bitch? How don't it, how didn't that damn Lifetime Achievement Award piss your ass off? Because the reason why you was doing that show is so that you could get that money up to pay Ken Do. And they talk about how mean you are on power and what a great acting job you're doing. You ain't acting, bitch. You being yourself. Jill was acting. You just being yourself. You an ignorant, disloyal, ungrateful bitch. And I'm going to call you a bitch until you start acting like a woman. Because that fancy dog collar that Puff got around your neck and has had around your neck for the past 30 years. It should have been done got tight. It don't feel like a noose, Mary. It don't feel like a noose. Being yanked around by a bunch of niggas all the time. But you want to pop fly with bitches. See, that's the other issue that I got in the industry. It's not just the dudes. It's the women, yo. It's the women. You let these niggas gas you up into talking shit about each other and hating each other and going against each other because you're looking for favor in a man rather than looking to God. Puff Daddy ain't God, yo. None of these niggas is. None of them. They're just men. Flesh and bone. That breathe, eat, and shit. Not even Kim John Young could prove that he ain't had no asshole. I'm a god because I don't poop. Who the fuck says something stupid like that? I'm God because I don't poop. Uh, I don't have an I don't have an asshole. I I, I I don't have anything. I don't need to do it. I, I reproduce uh I'm, I'm my own compost pile. What the fuck kind of shit is people... Be, what do people be talking about? All I can say, Mary, is you can come up with as many troll pages as you want. I'm not... I haven't come up with one troll page yet. Why would I do that? I own everything I say. I stand ten feet tall on everything I say. And Talib, if you keep creating ghost accounts... To follow my husband. I don't know. Maybe I should start up another conversation about you. And see how many more girls you done lied to. That you said was the only one you was going to marry. While you still married to EQ. And I have yet to hear you mention. Darcel's name. The first woman that held you down. And gave you children and made you a father. And you disgraced her. You disgraced her. Y'all don't know these niggas. Y'all don't know them at all. But you bout to. Because I got 25 years of information. Videotapes, text messages, pictures. See, when you're a pimp. And you work in the music industry. Easy money. Why would I want to be famous with all the illegal shit that I was doing behind the scenes? See? I'm pimping. I'm at the shows. I invite the girls. And the girls come and they take the pictures and they go back to the hotel and then they drain these niggas' pockets and they come back and they pay me my money. That's how stupid all these niggas is. They didn't know half of the whores that they were screwing was working for me. Now what they need to go back and think about is how many cameras were on them.
after y'all passed out from having sex and they would wake up and go through your phone. You know, that fingerprint thing, it makes it a little more difficult. But if you mix somebody, that fingerprint thing ain't nothing. Put it right on the phone, open it up, get all the information. See? Y'all really don't know how much I know about you. I said it in the beginning of my campaign. Don't make me show these niggas what y'all look like in your drawers. That wasn't figurative. That was literal. And Talib, just like you put Juju on me. How you know I ain't been putting bitches on you? You love them so. Green tea pimping. I learned a lot from you. I learned a lot about you. All of y'all. The only nigga that that wasn't successful with was Common. <laughs> Wonder why. Maybe it has something to do with, uh, I don't know. You're confused about a couple of things. I don't know. For every nigga that did me wrong, for every nigga that disrespected me, I put a bitch on you. <laughs> and for every bitch who play games, I put a nigga on you. That's what I've been doing the past 15 years, writing music and writing your end. Developing artists. Helping develop the future in the background. So when all of y'all niggas was dead and over, I came and removed you from where you are. Awesome music could replace you. I'm a planning motherfucker, boy. I got a backup plan for getting out of bed. <laughs> I do. <laughs> See, what people are really having the hardest time understanding right now is the patience. See? All that patience. Letting y'all niggas make it. Letting you get nice and fat. Letting you collect all your statues. Letting y'all do all that. Knowing everything I knew about you. I would watch the Grammy Awards and just go through my device. <laughs> Oh yeah, Jennifer Hudson, you're welcome. You're welcome for your future. She ain't squeaky clean either. Bill Condon wanted me for that role, Jennifer, and you know it. Just like he wanted Lettucey. And not once did you ever acknowledge us because you know that Matthew Knowles had us blocked. Because he wanted Beyonce to be the star. And the only reason people like me and Lettucey never made a big deal about the fact that we were not allowed to be in Dream Girls was because you got the role. Me and Letty talked about it. We were actually happy that someone with talent shined. They picked you because you lost on American Idol, Jennifer. That's why Matthew Knowles approved you. That was supposed to be Beyonce's Oscar. That's all anybody could talk about. And you stole the show. Just like I stole the show on Unplugged. Which is why I was told that I could not be a part of Dream Girls. Because I embarrassed Mary J. Blige. And I wasn't going to embarrass Beyonce. That's what you said, Matthew Knowles. And you can sue me if I'm lying, Matthew. Because what you don't want me to do is start talking about your mix sessions and your mastering sessions in New York and the kind of shit you was doing in them fucking rooms with your dirty old ass. 
I was nice to you the last time I saw you, Matthew Knowles. It was at Divas, remember? It was at the Divas in Philly. You brought the uh, the new Destiny's Child group that you've been trying to get off the ground. And I, I, I saw you while we were doing the photo ops backstage after I got off stage killing it. And I said, how are you, Matthew? And you looked at me like you couldn't even say my name back. And then you finally addressed me. Fuck you, Matthew. That's why Jay-Z got your daughter and he ain't giving her back. He made the real long money off of Beyonce, not you. Maybe all that smoking made you soft in the mind. Because see, when a real pimp steps onto the scene, he ain't going to tell you what his plan is. He just going to put it in motion. Guess you got soft. How is your group doing, by the way, Matthew? Are they doing well? Or are you running around divisively blocking other artists who are better than them so that you can get paid? See, that's how you can always tell when somebody keeps living in the past because they keep trying to repeat the same thing over and over and over again. Yes, Destiny Child, it was very, very, very successful. Shout out to Latoya Luckett. She the shit. She is the whole shit. And I'm sorry to hear about what's going on in your marriage. You've been through a lot, Ma. But you're going to have another hit record soon. Because if there's one thing a bad relationship will do for a female, a real female artist, is give her a hit record. So go get paid. Again. <laughs> go get paid again. If y'all niggas really knew... The kind of monkey shit that's been going on in the background for the past 20 years. And I got documentation. So Matthew knows if you don't like what I'm saying. And if what I'm saying is making your ass itch a little bit. You can come see me. I'm in Dallas. Ain't you? You, you from Houston. I go down to Houston. But you know that, don't you? Shout out to Imani Rose. Her lipstick is so amazing. I forgot to take it off last night when I went to sleep. And it's still on it. I'm telling you, sex faces everything. Everything. I just gave a tube to my realtor. Because we went to go see a, a house. We're moving. See. We wanted to stay where we are, but... Nah. We're moving to Highland Park. You know. So shout out to Imani Rose. And shout out to Sex Face. For saving my whole and making my whole lip life. You know, uh, Imani Rose, she worked for the Knowles, too. I hope that doesn't make anybody feel uncomfortable. That we're working together now, and I'm about to give her a hit record. This record's so damn cold, and she's going to kill it. Just like she killed that K-Riz record. God first. Can't wait till that's that's being mixed now as we speak. If y'all really knew the sacrifices that real artists make, trust me, it doesn't even matter how much money you make in this business. It's not enough to make you feel clean at the end of the day for all of the shit that you have to swim through. It's like Shawshank Redemption, but the last scene. And you never make it to Mexico. <laughs> you never make it to the boat. You just keep swimming through a river of shit. That's what all of you motherfuckers are. Y'all shit ass niggas. Yep. I'm coming to take you down. If I gotta do it all by myself. Little old me. I'll do it. I'm a woman of my word. I keep my word. Y'all can keep trying to send people to come spy on me to see what I'm doing. I'm moving to a place where you can't just run up in there. You can't run up in the 205. That's where we're going. Come see us there. Come pull up in front of our house there. See how that works. Them Highland Park police will have your ass arrested so fast you won't even know what to do. And that goes for uh, paparazzi too. That goes for everybody. There's a whole lot of 75, but there's only one 205. That's the safest place. 
for me and my husband and our future family that we're building. So yeah, Matthew, that's where you'll find us. Come. You want to talk? I have lunch at Cafe Pacific. Right next door to the um, to the Hermes and the, uh, the uh, what's that jewelry store? The, the Harry Winston store. You're more than welcome to make a reservation. We can sit down and talk. I live in Texas now. This is where you from. Well, we, we, we could meet it anywhere in Houston. Or you could sue me if I'm lying. The only way to build something new is to create a clearing. That's all I'm doing. I'm moving niggas around so that real niggas can win. And I'm not doing it just for myself. I'm doing it for y'all, for the listeners. Because there's so much great music that you've been deprived of. All because of a bunch of suck ass niggas who can't contend with real talent. Sean Combs, your agenda to destroy talent in the in the music industry. As successful as it's been, it, it needs to end. The way you embarrass those people or making the band, yeah, it might have made good TV, but it was good TV because you were sitting there humiliating people for having talent. Why you hate talent so much, Puff? You ain't got none? You got some talent. You have a lot of talents. But I guess trying to contend with someone filled with power who know they doesn't need you is much harder than contending with someone that has no talent that can't survive without you. The only thing that that proves is that you're a narcissist. You know the story of Narcissus, don't you, Sean? Sean Combs? He stared at himself, his reflection in the mirror for so long that he became stuck. Couldn't progress in life because he was so busy looking at himself. You have beautiful children. Maybe you should spend more time looking at them instead of looking up little young girl's skirts. That thing that that girl said about you, the side bitch, while you was with Cassie, who was the side bitch, while you was with Kim. You, 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 your, your relationships overlap so much, Puff. You like a monkey, for real. You like a monkey. And you know how monkeys travel through the, through the jungle, right? They go from vine to vine. But, when monkeys travel from vine to vine, they don't swing on the rope and jump off and catch the next rope. No, they don't let go of one branch until they got a firm grasp on the other. And that's your whole relationship story. From one branch to the other. But you're holding on to both of them at the same time for a moment there, aren't you? You're disrespectful to women. For real, for real, you're probably the Jeffrey Epstein of hip-hop. How about that? Puff, if your ass is itching about it, you can say something to me too. Because I know what really happened with you, Shine, and Jennifer Lopez. I know what really happened, yo. That boy that you tried to clone and turn into Biggie Smalls. Shout out to the memory of Biggie, yo. If you don't want me talking, Puff, keep your distance. I have no need, want, or care for men like you.
We need to get back to being human beings. COVID don't care about how much money you got. COVID don't care about how many uh, number one records you've produced or executive produced. COVID don't care that you're a father and you have children that are now depending on you because their mother is gone. They're depending on you solely, yo. COVID don't care about none of that. We got real issues to worry about, especially in this country. We got to start treating each other better. I am not better than any of you. And none of you are better than me. We're human beings. I've always said, I'm not better than anybody, but I know what I'm better than. See, no different than that album. I'm ready to die. I'm also ready to live. I'm ready to die. Can you say the same? I'm ready. When that boy Caleb murdered my son, I died. I'm dead already. But I'm coming back to life. And I'm doing it with integrity. Niggas have been trying to kill me since I was a child. I'm still here. Just don't make a killer out of me. Don't make a killer out of me. Because I'm not big and I'm not Tupac. My head is always on a swivel. I will defend my life. I will defend my family and I will defend my property. And I am more than capable of doing so. Trust and believe me when I tell you. I'm very comfortable with an assault rifle in my hand and I'm a surgeon with a fucking Glock. So don't play. Because after everything I've been through, yeah, y'all yeah, bet on me. If it comes down to the scuffle, I'm going to bet on me every time. And I'm ready for it. We can go hand to hand. We can go knife to knife. We can go gun to gun. I know the law. See, I'm the kind of nigga that I wait quietly while you come into my house. And then I'll invite you to stay for a while. We'll see. And what's really sad is, with all of the things that I've been sharing with y'all over the past six weeks, I ain't told you shit yet. <laughs> said nothing yet how about that the most I've said in an interview I did with Storm Monroe and there's a lot more twenty-five years of documentation of filth waiting for the right moment to lay all of you in front of the world to see. It's accountability time. It is integrity time. And I'm ready. I'm ready to apologize. I'm ready to build. I'm ready to work. 
And I'm ready to die. If I need to. But I promise I ain't going without a fight. I ain't going nowhere without a fight. Y'all should talk to some of the people that I did time with in all those county jails I lived in. I ain't take no shit off nobody, including a fucking warden. I don't take no shit off nobody. You ask them niggas down TGK or TJ Maxx down in Miami how I handled up on their asses while I was there. Sick as a dog and still handling up on niggas. Ask K. Michelle how I handle up on niggas. If she ain't busy getting a new treatment because her ass is eating her inside out from all of that damn plastic surgery and her, her body dysmorphia. Now, when I was saying something all them years ago about this bitch, about that goofy ass hoe, child, you just mad because you ain't got no money to get all that I got. Well, look what all your money got for you, bitch. Flesh eating diseases. Now, all of those girls who spent all of their money to look like you, do you think they got enough money to pay for all of the doctor's bills that come along with all of the complications of all of that shit? And that's what you were an example of, yo. That's all right. My son was still alive. Giovanni handled up on that ass real good on Instagram. Caught you in all kinds of lies. Y'all can go back and check my son's feed. He wore fucking K. Michelle ass out. And if he was alive right now, he'd be standing right beside me, wearing all y'all niggas out too. I'm a right. Anna Johnson. We handle up. So if y'all don't want me to keep destroying your heroes, maybe you should go to them. And ask them. To be the people that you've always believed they were. Maybe y'all should start saying, I'm not going to buy another artist album until I know who that person actually is. And if I want to support. Because if everybody had known that R. Kelly was doing everything that he was doing. Would y'all have bought those records? If y'all had known what he was doing with Aaliyah. Would y'all have bought his album? Y'all need to go back and listen to that first R. Kelly and the Public Announcement album. He had a song called Vibe. Matter All right, y'all. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel about this. Do y'all feel like she's telling the truth? She's doing too much? Or she just need to get this out? Because like she said, that people in the industry aren't doing people right. People that can actually sing. People that actually got talent. They're not letting them go for it. And people that do have talent have to do so much to be put in. But anyway, y'all comment that down below. Give me a thumbs up on my video. Subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already. Subscribe to my other channel if you hadn't already. Make sure you check me out on social media. And make sure you check out my shop. Make sure you click that bell for notification of my videos. Make sure you check out my IGT page. And make sure you check out my shop. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, be blessed. Enough of that stuff.